Hi everybody, my name is Mitch Cowles, I'm from Max Morphs, I am the owner and operator of the breeding project. Um, I'm just giving you guys a quick view of my sub-adult and hatchling turtle room. This is where I keep most of my hatchlings to sub-adults, but not all of them. Quick view of everything. Usually I have some more tanks over here, uh, but since it's the end of season, I don't have as many turtles as I usually do, so it'll be filled up next year when stuff starts hatching out. Start off by showing you my whole back tank, which has some albino red-eared sliders that are hat for caramel pink and snow, a couple diamond back hairpins, and an albino hieroglyphic river cooter. This down here is my male albino snapping turtle. I also have a female as well, but she's not at this location. Uh, he will hopefully be breeding, not next season, but the season afterwards, and I'll be hatching out some myself. Over here is another hatchling tank. This one has a couple albino red-eared sliders with uh, a regular tails and scutes. It also has uh, one hypo pastel common snapping turtle and a couple other odds and ends. Over here is my young adult to sub-adult pond. Um, this is where all the turtles go that are larger in size, but not quite old enough or big enough to stay outside for the winter to hibernate. Um, in here I have a couple caramel pink red eared sliders, a couple hep for albino, snow, and caramel pink red eared sliders. Uh, here's my bigger hieroglyphic river cooter female. Um, I also have my hypo creamsicle map turtles and a few other things like those clown pastel red eared sliders and albino red eared sliders and there's my clown eastern pan. Uh, this pond is about 275 gallons. Um, it's filtered by two filters, the Fuel Vault FX5 and a little homemade um, bio filter that I have. Over here is my 40 gallon breeder that has albino red eared sliders, pastel red eared sliders, a couple diamond back terrapins, and a few other odds and ends. Um, this has my custom 3D background that I made last winter. It's very cool, very useful, gives the tank a little more personality, not very hard to build. And then down here, the last tank I have to show you for today just has a couple more albino red-eared sliders, a hep for albino red-eared slider, and that's about it that's in here. This is stuff that I'm also keeping back to raise. That's all I have to show you today, but please keep your eye out for other videos that I have coming. I'll be doing videos on all the other turtles that I have along with uh, turtles I have for sale. Um, specifics on the tanks and equipments that I use and reasons I use them with other informational videos as well. So keep your eye out, there's plenty more to come.